So I got a request to review what I keep in my organizer's tool bag. So these are the tools and products that I am going to bring with me on all of my organizing jobs. Hi, I'm professional organizer Katherine Lawrence, and I help you live a life with less clutter so you can focus on the things that truly matter. So in today's video, I am going to show you all of the things that I carry with me to my clients' jobs. Now, it's, it's a ton of stuff actually, but believe it or not, it all fits into this one tool bag. And also I have a tote that I keep in my car as well. You can also get the complete list along with links to shopping sites on my Pinterest board called Professional Organizers Tools. And I'll put uh, the link here on the screen to that Pinterest board. Okay, so let's start with my work bag. Now, this bag I got from a company called Clever Container. I'm not quite sure what's going on with them. Um, I know last year they said that they were closing the site down. It's a site for uh, organizing products. But I went there today and they actually had a work bag. It was in a different color, but they still had this available. So just want to let you guys know it's called the Stuff and Go. Um, and what I love about it is it just has lots of pockets and then it has these big pockets on the side where I can put in my water bottle because I always carry, you know, drinks and protein shakes and stuff with me on my job. So I like that little feature. So what is in here? So I'm going to have a smaller bag, which is the classic fanny pack or waist pack. And I love this because I can just keep a couple tools handy that I use constantly. So the tools that I want to have with me at all times are pins, uh, sharpies, and different uh, sizes. Of course, I have my reading glasses, cutting tools. I have a little utility knife and a little pair of scissors. I use those quite often. And this is really one of my favorites. This is by Post-It. And it is, um, it's kind of like Post-It notes, but it's tape and it's full adhesive. And so you can make some labels on the fly. I usually use these for temporary labels as I'm sort of staging my different categories and, and different bins. But you can make these any size that you want. So you can make a really long label, or if you just want to, you know, mark something that's very small, you can do that. And it's super handy. I also like that there's a pocket here in the front so I can keep my cell phone handy as well. Because I use that a lot, of course, to take photos and also to set timers. So I have a timer, uh, Pomodoro timer app on my phone. So if I'm working with my client on time management, I've got that handy as well. All right, so let's take a look at everything else. Now, I love carrying my tablet and just a notebook that I can either do a quick like space planning sketch or um, if the client, if I'm doing a consultation with a client and they're giving me a lot of information, sometimes it just helps me to sort of write things down so I don't forget. All right, of course, a label maker and extra label tape and batteries for your label maker. That is essential. Now, I use a Brother P-Touch label maker. This is actually a fairly small one. Um, they make a larger one that I also recommend uh, if my clients want to buy a label maker. But I love this because it just feels very light in my hands and I can just type out a, a nice size label on the fly and it's just really easy to use and it's not very heavy if I'm carrying it in my bag. So <laughs> I like to keep painter's tape and this is another way to either make some really quick labels as you're um, you know, staging all of your different categories. But I use these a lot if I um, am doing a big decluttering job and I wanna mark like large items that are being removed from the home, like furniture or um, just bulky items. I can put a little sticky tape on them and that's a reminder to me that the haulers are gonna remove that item or that item is leaving the home. And um, I can also write on these with my Sharpie. So again, just a really quick 
label while I'm staging everything before I put in my permanent labels. Okay, so for tools, I like to have a screwdriver with different size bits. And then in my little tool bag, I carry these little baby screwdrivers. And these are good if you need to like remove batteries from like kids' toys. Um, sometimes those batteries get kind of corroded and I like to pull them out before I donate the item if the item is still working. But those kind of come in handy. I love my needle nose pliers. I use these quite a bit when I'm organizing kitchens and I need to pull like dowels out so I can um, rearrange the cabinet, um, the shelving in the kitchen cabinet because I, I change that out a lot. Okay, more cutting tools. <laughs> I love my utility knives, especially if you're unpacking a house. These are handy to have or even opening mail or any type of packages. And then if I'm dealing with a lot of boxes, sometimes I'll even pull out the big serious box cutters, but I don't like to use those too often because they're kind of industrial and then I have extra blades with me. These are really good if you are um, putting in shelf liner. This is a nice, gives me a nice cutting um, tool for shelf liner. And then I like to just have a little leveling tool and this is really helpful if you are um, putting up shelving in garages attics or utility rooms and they have like little self leveling feet i like to use that to just make sure that that things are straight okay i love carrying these little um velcro things for uh, managing cords or like bundling items together. You can also use cable ties. Sometimes I carry cable ties or I used to carry more cable ties, but I've gone to the Velcro because I can reuse these. Um, but that's great for uh, managing your cords or just bundling, you know, if you're organizing like phone charger cables or something, that's just really handy to have around. Okay, more sticky notes. So these are the larger post-it notes and I love the full adhesive note. So that means it's got sticky on all the corners. I find that the traditional sticky notes that just have the little bit of glue at the top, they tend to fall off easier uh, or faster and so I like the full adhesive sticky notes. And those are great for um, just really labeling anything, sorting papers, and putting things into categories. Okay, for personal protection, I have my gloves. And I really like these gloves. They're by a company called Atlas. And they have just a little bit of puncture resistance on them. So if you're dealing with anything that might be sharp, that's very helpful. And I can use these and then throw them in the wash. And they're usually good for about five to 10 washes. And then they uh, kind of dry out a little bit, but they're really inexpensive. So I always have a stock of those. And then of course, an N95 mask is um, good to have around in case you get into some dusty situations or um, something that you just need a little extra protection. Hand sanitizer, I like to have that handy. Flashlight, uh, this is really great if you're in storage units or working in a closet that doesn't have uh, any lighting. Now I keep this little bag for my credit card processing tool so I can accept credit cards directly from my cell phone using either Square or Intuit. And then I also keep a little charger handy because the chip reader needs to be charged. And I can also use that to charge my cell phone if I need to. Okay, I like to have a big pair of scissors handy. Glue gone, <laughs> or sorry, goo gone. Um, this is great when you are putting in uh, organizing storage tubs. And I like to get that label off or um, just to make it look a little bit 
nicer. Extra business cards for marketing. And then an extra package of pins. I think that is everything that I have in here. Oh, of course, one more thing. Very useful tape measure. So anytime you're doing space planning or you want to buy um, organizing bins and you want to make sure you have the right shelf space and height to put that in, that is an absolute must. And then the third bag that I carry with me, I just call my bag of bags. And it's just a large Ikea tote where I carry other bags that I find extremely useful while I'm working. So my absolute favorite, favorite bag to have with me is a large clear bag. These are actually lawn and leaf bags. I get them from Lowe's. But these are great for filling with donations of clothing, stuffed animals, bedding. Um, and I love to keep my donation bags separate from my trash bags because when you're doing a really large job, you don't wanna just have a, an entire hallway filled with bags where you don't know which ones are your trash bags and which ones are your recycle bags and which ones are your donate bags. And trust me, when you get into these really large jobs, it's, it's very easy, especially if you have a staff with you, to um, get things mixed up. So you wanna make sure you have a staging area for donations and a staging area for trash and recycle and then keep things in different bags. It will save you a lot of frustration. So the other type of bag I like to have is just a paper bag. And this is great for um, if you're donating anything that's glass or uh, books or something that is a little more solid and you don't wanna use the plastic bag, I use the paper bag. And then I can take a sticky note and just put that on the bag and say, okay, this is going to Goodwill or this is going to the consignment store or this is uh, recycling. I can label my paper bags very easily. So I like to have a collection of those handy. The other types of bags I bring on jobs are Ziploc bags of different sizes. This is the one gallon and this is the jumbo, the, the big, big bag. And these are great as temporary organizing bags. Um, sometimes I use them as permanent organizing bags. If that's all I need to organize um, you know, something in a client's home and they don't need to buy an expensive tote or tub, plastic bag is a really inexpensive tool to keep things together. When I'm teaching my course and teaching professional organizers to do jobs very efficiently and, and quickly, we talk about staging. And so these bags are a great way because you, you don't want to stop the flow of your sorting and decluttering to go and look up a, uh, an organizing container. You want to sort of wait and do that all at the end. So these are fantastic. You can just put the product in there that you want to contain and then you can either write with your sharpie directly on there but typically what i do because i will reuse these is i will take my post-it tape and then i will just create a label on there and then that way when i get a permanent container for the contents I can switch that out and then reuse this bag because there's no reason to, to throw it away. I can keep using it. Or if I'm just using this to sort, it's a quick way to just identify what is in which category that represents. So you can use that for paper, you can use it for crafts, you can use it for um, kitchen items, bedrooms, clothing, anything really. And it just keeps things contained while you're going through that sorting process. Okay, I think that is about everything. So I hope that that helps you get prepared for your organizing jobs. And in the comments below, let me know if you have a favorite tool that you bring on your organizing jobs. And if you're looking to become a professional organizer, please check out my 30 things to do in the next 30 days to launch your professional organizing career. I have a link to that free ebook in the description box below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found that helpful and subscribe to my channel for more tips on downsizing, decluttering, and the business of organizing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.